Hello and welcome to this quick tip. This is just a very quick tip to show you how to use the on-screen display in things like the Foxeer Monster V2 camera. Now I've been playing with the Monster V2 in a number of models. It's a beautiful 16.9 wide dynamic range camera and is perfect for those kind of models like this Swallow 670 where I've also connected the voltage sense wire so I can actually see the voltage in the on-screen display. But more of that in a second. The reason I'm making this video is because although this is kind of covered in the manual and this is the only place I could find the manual, it comes in the box as part of the camera, uh, but I occasionally put these in the box when I throw them away and I couldn't find a downloadable version. So this is a very quick summary for those of you that either have the camera and have done what I did, which was throw the manual away, or if you're new to the camera and you're trying to figure out how it all works. Now the little on-screen display board that, that comes in the package just connects into these two additional wires here, black and red. Uh, the weird thing is all the ones I've had so far, uh, the black wire is connecting to the white wire and vice versa in the connector. Don't panic about that, it all still work anyway. You have the standard three wire connection for the voltage in, the ground and the video out, which you can plug into your FPV transmitter. I'm just using a little 25 milliwatt unit here. And this is the screen of my Fat Shark transformer goggles, which is perfect for these kind of setups. But let me very quickly show you how this works. If you press and hold briefly the center button on the joystick, it will bring up the main menu. And here, in fact, what I'll do is let me just put something um, over the camera so it's completely black. There we go. You can see we can look at the exposure. We can check the sh uh, shutter mode and you navigate using the four outside buttons. So we can change um, the automatic gain control, the automatic white balance. We can do image adjust. If you want to pick any of these, hit the center button and you can change these ratios. Every pilot seems to have their own particular way that they like it set up. So uh, it's up to you how you want to do it. Let's go down to the bottom, select return, go down to the bottom and there's loads and loads and loads of these settings. So we'll just click exit for now. Again, center button. And there are a couple of other options that you can do as well. If you press and hold the up button on the control, it will bring you into this menu here. You can change the name of the camera. I actually changed the names to as close to Painless 360 as I can get, so people know it's my video that they're looking at. And you can also then decide whether or not you want the name, time, and power displayed on the screen. And quite nicely, you can also change the font as well. But let's leave it all as it is for now. And again, go down to the middle, press the middle button and exit. And what you'll notice here at the bottom of the screen, there are those things. We have the name, uh, which you can have anywhere, the voltage currently coming in, uh, or if it has the sense wire, which is the gray wire coming out of the bottom, uh, connected to your main battery voltage, it'll show you there. It'll also, let's just take that off to stop some of the interference. It'll also show you the uh, kind of battery that it's auto detected, which is very clever. And then we have the on time on the right hand side. So if we want, we can actually move these around the screen as well. If we press and hold the left hand button, then you'll see that the fox ear or the name of the camera, and again, I'm usually painless, we can now move that around the screen to be wherever we want it to be. So I tend to have mine in the middle of the screen at the top. Hit enter. If we press and hold the right key, that will select the timer. And again, we can do exactly the same thing. We can move that around, we'll keep it where it is for now. And the last one, if you press and hold the down key on the joystick, then you select the voltage and that can be put anywhere as well. Personally, I like the voltage in the bottom left hand corner. I'm gonna stick it there. And the really nice thing is it also allows you to change the voltage. So if you measure the voltage that's coming in and it's different from the voltage being shown, and in fact, um, here's a quick image of me doing it uh, on that Swallow camera, because that's the nice thing, these cameras are brilliant for fixed wing weight out of a flight controller. And you just wanna monitor the flight battery voltage as you go along. You obviously want it to be as accurate as possible. So if we briefly go back, again, I'm gonna press and hold the down button. That's gonna select my voltage. We can move that around. If it, I hit enter again, then it actually now allows me 
to set that figure, hopefully you can see that on the screen, let me just put something dark over the camera again, uh, hopefully you can see that you can set it to be whatever the actual input voltage is, when it's correct with what it actually is, you hit enter again. So hopefully that helps those of you that have this camera and it's a quick guide. So to access the menu where you can change these main elements, press and hold the up key. That allows you to change the name of the camera and also the font and what is displayed, the name, time and power. So for example, we could actually take the time off. I'm not a big fan of the time anyway. Hit exit. And there we are, we've just got the voltage and the name. If you hold the middle button, that will let you access the main camera menu where you can change all of the settings and then press and holding when you're not in one of the menus. The left, down and right buttons will actually allow you to select the individual components that are displayed and move those around to position them on the screen where you want them. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video and particularly for watching right to the very end. We try and release a video on Tuesday and Friday and sometimes we'll release one or two extra ones in a week as well. All of the videos on the channel are organised into easy to use playlists so do have a look in there because if you're interested in a subject we organise all the videos on that subject so you can find them easily all together in one place. If you like what we're doing, then please like and subscribe and tell others about the channel so they can come and join as well. We're available in all of the usual social media places, particularly in places like Instagram, Twitter, and we also share all of our 3D designs on Thingiverse.